Hi, I'm William Klein Bailey. I'm a drummer and a songwriter. I was born in Islington in London, and my parents are Sierra Leonean. I spent my formative years in Sierra Leone. I later went to school in Lagos, Nigeria, and later on studied in Russia. I now reside in the UK. My musical journey started when I was age seven and I became a chorister in Zion Methodist Church in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Uh, mostly this was due to my father's influence, but I enjoyed the performances. By my late teens, I was getting very much into music. I loved music and I decided to learn how to play the drums. Also, that was inspired by watching Osibisa perform live, and I liked the drummer, Sol Amafrio, the late Sol Amafrio. It was just great to see him play, he played with a smile on his face, and it was wonderful to see. So I thought, well, I like playing the drums, and, and that was it, I was gonna learn how to play. Um, also at that time, most of my friends were learning how to play the guitar or the keyboards, and I wanted to be different anyway. So, um, so I picked up the drums. After learning the basics of the drums, I was, by then I was at university. I, was, I became a member of a student band called Ogidi Gidi, um, and we played mostly high life and reggae. And this continued for six years whilst I was at university. I was the drummer for that band. Um, around this time, I started writing songs and trying to publish them. Um, after university, I did a lot of studio work um, and I was mentored by the late Aki Dean, a Sierra Leonean producer, and I learned a lot from him. By 2020, I decided that all the knowledge I had got and had accrued, I was going to put that into practice. So I released my first single um, in 2020, um, a single called Solitude. But since then, I've gone on to um, produce and record two EPs and an album. My main instrument is drums and percussion. I love the drums because I get so much joy from playing it. Um, and I'm also influenced by other drummers in the past and I see how they play and they've influenced the way I play. The first being at Blakey, who is a versatile drummer and a, dr and a band leader. And he led his own jazz band for a long, long time. So I like that. So I sort of like his style of drumming too because it's more consistent and more keeping with the time. Other drummers that um, I enjoy watching is Nardamaka Walden, because of his versatility. He's produced Whitney Houston, um, and he himself produced his own album. So I like that he's a drummer and at the same time can do his own work. Drummers like um, Steve Gadd and Harvey Mason, I, I like the way how they adapt to different musical styles because they're very good session drummers. And I've learned a lot from them, how they adapt um, their playing to different styles of music. Also, um, I enjoy funk drumming. I really love funk drumming. And um, somebody like Bill Fatback Cottis of the Fatback Band, he formed the Fatback Band and was the leader of the Fatback Band. I just like his funky drumming. It's steady and it keeps to the beat and you know, not too much noise, and I like that, I like that. So yeah, but there are also new drummers, up and coming drummers who I really like, um, like uh, Jameson Ross, who doubles up as a vocalist. I like that too, the versatility. I enjoy playing the drums because it gives me so much pleasure just keeping that steady beat. And you see if you're in control, because although most times the, the drummer is set at the back, you have an overview of what the other musicians are doing. And you keep in time, you're keeping everybody in check. Not that I'm a control freak, but I do enjoy it. And um, allow the other musicians to express themselves. And that's what I enjoy about drumming the most. 
the fact that you're keeping the pace and keeping everybody in check so no one's going you know, out of rhythm and keeping time. And besides that, I just love the sound of the drums, especially the combination between the snare drum and the bass drum. And especially when you're playing funk, the little syncopated bits that you get in between the hi-hat and the snare or the, and the bass drum. And that's what I like about drumming. So yeah, drums and percussion is just my thing. The musician that inspires me most is George Benton. I got turned on to jazz when I first heard um, the track Breezin. I was 15 years old when the track came out and I was listening to the radio and I had this stuff playing in the radio, on the radio. And George Benson was doing his scat vocals and I thought, what is this? I love it. And um, since then I have followed George Benson's career and I like him because of his versatility in singing and playing the guitar, his professionalism, and the way he conducts himself as a musician. So he inspires me. He's still performing. I think he's heading for his 80s, but he's still performing. Doesn't get involved in drugs and drink. And that's what I like about him. So he inspires me that at any age, you can continue performing. The other musician who influences me a lot is Walter Beasley. Walter Beasley is a saxophonist in the smooth jazz sector and I've followed his music since around outside, discovered him around 2000. And his consistency and his humility, he's um, a doc doctor of music, but he's so humble. And when you listen to his posts and his advice he gives, he's so down to earth. And I think as a musician, humility is um, a good thing. A lot of people in the industry, in the music industry, have got massive egos. And Walter Bisley doesn't seem to have that. He's so down to earth. I communicate with him regularly. And that's what I like about him. And that's what music should be all about. It should be approachable. The other person who influences me a lot is Art Blakey. Art Blakey um, from the Jazz Messengers way back during the bebop era. But what I like about him is his leadership. He pulled so many musicians together and it influenced a whole genre of musicians during the bebop era. So because of his leadership at Blakey is another person who influences me and in how I conduct myself as a musician. I can't provide a lot for the um, forum. At the moment, I'm one of the administrators of the forum and I spend a lot of my time coordinating activities within the forum. So it takes a lot of my time, but it's a labor of love. I also strive to um, improve the profile of Sierra Leonean musicians, and I hope through the forum and my interaction with other musicians, we can achieve that. I'm also very passionate about the welfare of musicians in Sierra Leone, because I know how difficult it was when I started off um, my musical career in Sierra Leone. There were no instruments and there's no welfare for the musicians. So having a viable uh, musicians union that will make sure that musicians are being paid their royalties, it's you know very close to my heart. So I would like um, to contribute in any way I can through the forum to make sure this is possible in Sierra Leone. My current project is my latest EP entitled Challenge. I'm excited about this EP because I have collaborated with a few members from the forum. Um, most importantly, Elmer Beckley, a guitarist, a veteran guitarist, I should say. He has contributed, contributed a song called The Kiss, which is an awesome jazz track. Um, I've also collaborated with Cecil Jones, who plays all the saxophone on my EP. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it should be ready by the summer. I am hoping to do some live shows starting um, in Scarborough where I do my uh, recording. 
and then hopefully another show in London later in the year before the end of the year. And that those are my plans for 2023.